Ireland in our next quarterfinal, and it's been a bit of a mixed bag for both of these teams. Oh yeah, early on, early on in the series when Ireland first uh, first started, South Africa consistently beat them. But last weekend, Ireland got a bit of revenge. Here's a look at the two sides and how they line up. Harry McNulty has had a solid start to the weekend. Terry Kennedy as well. He's been one of the big names that's shone most carries of any player in the competition so far. And South Africa as well, always a formidable opponent. Both great defensive teams. So she'll be close and it'll take a moment to win this. Big deep breaths for Harry McNulty. This is a big occasion for the Ireland team. It's a very relaxing tune being played. Can you feel the love tonight? Well, there'll be no love out on the field for this quarterfinal. South Africa and Ireland. There's the results this weekend. Win, win, win. That's why they came first in their pool and now they end here, whereas the Irish lost early to Samoa, but just, and then came good against Spain and the USA. Yep. They're on a roll. They can fix their discipline, though. They've given away plenty of penalties. Certainly had a great start to day two with no points conceded. Nick Hogan is the referee for this one. A bouncing Harry McNulty pumped for this one. What about that man, Ricky Duarte? Hasn't he really been the hero for them today? They've beat New Zealand off his kick. I'm going to say he's been the Thank best you. player here at the stadium all day, Tricky Ricky. And there's the best for Ireland, Terry Kennedy. If they're going to have any chance, he's going to have to feature. All right, let's get busy. And it'll be Billy Dardis. The atmosphere electric in Allianz Stadium. And it's that man, Tricky Ricky, who gets up high. Not much of him, but he got up very high then to collect the kickoff and South Africa shifted immediately. Williams has been so devastating and it was a lovely late delayed pass. Cutting on the inside is Grobola and count it. Just over 20 seconds and South Africa are on the board. What a start. First of all, the shortest man on the field at the top of the pod, the catching pod takes it. They shift it left. There was nothing on. Quite simply, Kelly missed the tackle and Grobble is the beneficiary as he streaks away. He knew he had it from there. Kept an eye on the defenders. What an easy start for South Africa. A disaster for Ireland. It was a beautiful delayed pass from Dalvon Blood. Grobble steaming onto it. And that man, Dalvon Blood as well, adds the extras. So, 7-0. South Africa leading just over a minute played. Well, we've seen the two best defensive teams here in Sydney this weekend, and already the Irish have bled one. Deeper kickoff here, and McNamara is back there. Runs into the try score at Robla. Kelly with some footwork. Just trying to shake the defender. The tackle slipped up though. The Irish aren't a team that takes quick taps. You'll see them trying to get themselves organised. They'd rather play from set pieces. Going for the line out. Listen to this Irish crowd. Well, they came out to warm up about 20 minutes ago, and Fields of Athenry has been going ever since. Great tackle after Kelly stepped off his left. I want to see some free birds fly here in Irish jerseys. They've had nothing to cheer about yet, but that hasn't stopped them. And it's a little bit loose at the back there for Smith. He does well and oh, throws it to nobody. He regathered. He's had an outstanding Saturday. Today, Andrew Smith, two tries, some wonderful defence, but the nerves seem to be creeping in. Big cut quarter final. Here's Williams. Go long, it's been well intercepted, well read. 
there by Ireland. Oh, and again, Smith, he's just lost a bit of concentration in the last minute or so. And Duarte sets off. Here's South Africa blood. Sorry? Yeah. Bandage offside. And David's on the field. If he fists up, shakes the tackle and gets it to Grobler, who's in for his second. South Africa just holding their nerve here. Comprehensive. That's all you can describe. It's just half tackles that are getting missed, unlike Ireland. Look at David. Pops it. McNulty. Bend it off. That is where the problem started and it created the opportunity for Grobler on the outside. Strides over with just a finger touching him. Two tries, first four minutes. Well, South Africa they haven't really converted too many opportunities going inside the 22, but so far in this match, it's been two entries into the 22, two tries. Yeah, Ireland defending at 40%. We spoke pre-match about how good they've been. Letting themselves down so far, they've got a mountain to climb. Again, once again, it's a deep kickoff. And Smith is back there. The big frame of Andrew Smith. Dardis. Back to Mara. And now O'Sullivan across to Kennedy. Kennedy just circling back. Runs away from his support. Could have bring the hands again. Smith, elusive, and that's the play to his skipper McNulty. McNulty beats the first, gets the ball away, the offload to Kelly. Into the 22 they go. Can they convert? Need to be the next scorers, and it's on for Ireland. Out wide, Kennedy wrapped up. away from all your fans. Mick Nolte, he knew he didn't have the pace, but he knew what he did have, the power to drop one on the inside. It then goes all the way to the left-hand side with that new head numbers. But unexpectedly at the last minute, you thought he's going to dash over Kennedy. He's got the pace, tosses a Hail Mary pass, hits the mark, O'Sullivan, try. What about that ball? He had another support player inside, so I guess Kennedy knew it's going to work one way or the other. Look at those fans go crazy. That's what they came to see. And I'll tell you what it's like. A little sliver of the Aviva Stadium has been teleported into the south stand. Have a look at him. Aaron O'Sullivan. 19 seconds. Yes. Have a clock? Yeah, we'll come back on. Time on. That's the hit back they needed. They're in the game. Minutes to play in this first half. Dardis is taking his time. And it's well taken by Funk Fake, who throws a speculator just like Terry Kennedy did. Back to his support. South Africa. Get through the hands. Here's Dalp on blood. Robler, who's been... So good in this first half. Hasn't put a foot wrong. Fun fake. Kicks ahead. And one of the fastest men on the park gets back there. Conroy to collect it. It's been their best try scorer this weekend as well. Lost it forward though. Oh. South Africa forced the error. Conroy clutching his neck. Reckons he got in high. Referee not by it. Let's have another look. Murphy comes in. Well, I've seen lesser offences penalised. It was just a little karate chop to the throat, wasn't it? Cancel. Come on. So the knock on stand. Here's O'Sullivan scoring the try. Look at the crowd, Greg Martin. 
There's minions there. There's jailbirds. And it's deep, all happening. And deep down, there's Ireland. Crouch. A lot of Irish flags down there. Bye. Let's look at the men's series standings. South Africa They're clinging on to that fourth spot. They want to go deep in this tournament. Williams. That short side goes back to the centre of the field to Duarte there. Chief playmaker. Williams. Pisser. Wrapped up by Smith. Island. Been so good defensively this tournament so far. They just need to hold on here. Duarte drops it, uh, lays the pass for blood. Here's Duarte. The kick pass. It is 10 points. As good as it gets from South Africa. Hunt Bay, what a take. What a kick, what a take. Have a look at it. The opportunity was there. He obviously called as well. And that is magnificent stuff. On the fly, within the tackle, Punt Bay. Eyes for the ball only. Kennedy had him. Brilliant stuff. Accusatorial after the try. It doesn't matter. What a way to finish the first half, Andrew Swain. Tawati puts it through from the sideline as well. So a big minute or so from South Africa. They have the halftime lead. They lead Ireland 19 points to 7. Britain coming up and it is second half to come here and South Africa with a commanding lead scoring right on the buzzer and it's great to be joined by Sheikh Sawyer's Wapi Sheikhs what a finish to that first half for your side yeah I think the boys uh, really stuck to the plan um, as we as we planned before the game, and uh, yeah, we said that um, playoffs is a, our game with uh, minimal um, opportunities and a few mistakes, and I think the boys are, are very clinical at the moment. What about the crossfield kick to finish the half to Van Vake? Is, do you practice that, or is that instinctive? Yeah, it is something that we, we do on the training ground. Um, yeah, and, and, and luckily it came off there. Uh, for Shilton to score in the corner, uh, but this is the game of seven. The game's not over, and uh, yeah, the boys must uh, stick it through to the end. Shakes, how's the shoulder, mate? We hope to see you back soon. Yeah, uh, it's 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 good. Uh, it's uh, it's actually an injury that I've I've had before uh, last year this time. So um, yeah, it will be. I might miss the next one. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's not too bad. We hope to see you soon out there, mate. We'll let you get back to it. Thank you for your time. Thanks a lot. Cheers. So there's Wapi there. South Africa just making a couple of changes here, Mato. New half back, they've got him on there. Baron. Crouch. And 
a little bit of spark. Duarte's still there. His footwork's been incredible today. That first receiver. Dardis. Ragnamara sends it across. Here is the speed of Jordan Conroy, but he gets run down by Dalvon Blood. That is a clutch tackle. McNamara, his space is cut down, but he breaks down the left-hand side. He's got Kennedy with him. Kennedy looking for support. Cuts in field. Still cutting in field, Terry Kennedy. Now he finds the space. And it goes out to McNulty. They've got numbers to burn on this right side. Do Ireland and Smith scores. Woo, I thought they were going to blow it. There was some uh, stuttering play when they had an obvious two-man overlap. Here's Smith. Does know how to score a try. No problems there. Try time. They're back in the game. All right. Their no, fans no, are no, back no, on fire no, on their feet. Thank you. They're in full voice. Let's another look at it. Watch him slam it down here on the Sydney turf. You can give that try assist way back 50 metres across field to McNamara who just refused to be tackled before it made its way over to the right hand side of the field. Big conversion from Dardis away, so 19 plays 12, a converted try in it. While talking to the engine, here he comes, Smith now, have a look at him. Has a go, has a go, that's his oh, third try today. He's been mighty in their run to the quarterfinal. Have a look at those fans behind. Just deafening in Allianz Stadium at the moment. That is a big regather. It just came off Terry Kennedy's hand, so it'll be a South African feed. Oh, he was hoping for a miracle. That put all the world was out. If Kennedy catches that, now he's out anyway. Yeah, not on the five. Spectacular pictures. Thank you. Head on. That was wonderful work. Kennedy. Yeah, he's been their best player all day. If they're going to win this, he's going to pull something out of the bag. Crouch! Fine! Roach on the field for Sit. Ireland as well. He is a man who can create. It pops no, out the same no, 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 tunnel. Same tunnel. So we'll reset. Right. Right. Same tunnel. So reset. Can't come out the same tunnel. Okay, so we'll reset. Yeah, it's just come out the side. Nick Hogan. We'll just just telling us exactly what Crouch. happened. Out the same tunnel. Five. How good are those pictures on your Six. screen right now? So close to the action. Quite early. South Africa go quickly. Here's Baron. Baron kicks ahead. He's lightning. Here's Jaden Baron. Keeps it in field with a lovely little play. And he does it again. No! Can you believe it? That is Get out of here! How did he save it rolling over the sideline, but not only that, recover and get it over that try line. Egg, that's what you put a reserve on for, to pull a moment like that. Rolling over, McNamara was happy to let it go. I'll just let that roll over. Hold on. Oh, whoa. Whoa, he's standing out when he kicked it back in. Wow. They're not going to recall that. That is a huge moment, and it was spectacular, but did he have a foot out when he touched the ball? He had two feet out when he touched the ball. Have a look. So he's out, he's out. You can't do that. <laughs> anyway, he got away with it. Goodness me. The Irish fans have just spotted it on the big screen. Not happy, Jan. out on the full they've got a mile to come back in two minutes the Irish starts with a quick tap anything's possible in sevens Kennedy beating the first tackle releases Jack Kelly Kelly still going Conroy has it Conroy brought down three out oh, and... oh no that's tough on attack Conroy. Every attempt to stay up. Lost his feet. Was it whoever came over the top of Conroy there to claim or to Jackal went off their feet? Yeah, that's 
that moment was theirs if they wanted to swing the momentum now it's gone oh, Ireland feel a little bit hard done by with that try to Jaden Baron and that's compounded the situation for them yeah, yeah good work by the South He's Africans they're making a start like Robles coming off if he fists are coming back onto the field. He can be standing out and kick it. He can be standing out and kick it. Yes, I'll you tell you can. what though, spectacular stuff. It's been an entertaining quarter final. The referee, I don't know if you just heard that audio. He clarified, but that a question from one of the Irish players. Clarified you be you can be standing out and kick it back in. Baron. Pistol wins it. He's Duarte. Wrapping around is Adonis and Duarte again. Duarte, oh, shows it on the inside and runs around the outside and gets the big bend going. He loves a bit of UFC, does Ricky Duarte. Oh, how good is he? And he just used that big arm to hold them at an arm's length. They reckon Ten. nobody works harder than him in South African sevens rugby. He's a machine. Oh, passes it across. Here's Kennedy. Have to roll the dice now. No time left. McNulty out wide. Tucks it under the wing. Need to score. I think South Africa have just done enough. Kennedy. Oh, here it is. Out wide for Kelly. Kelly drops it to McNulty. McNulty leaves it behind. Comerford on the field. Siren sounds. Kelly squeezes out to McNulty. And Mullen now into the 22. Leave it. South Africa will go through to the next round. Into the semis. Comerford on the ground. Kennedy probing Roach head down Mullen Island not going anywhere here penalty now they've got the chance to go forward Kennedy now another penalty advantage not 10 not 10 come with it Conroy spills it. That'll do us here in quarterfinal number two. South Africa victorious over Ireland. 26 points to 12. So here's a look at the draw. South Africa through. They'll play the winner of Fiji or Great Britain. And New Zealand also through. They'll play the winner of Australia v France. So Ireland knocked out in the quarters, Marto, but an entertaining game of rugby sevens. Well, the, good, the South Africans got away to that two-try lead in the first half, and Ireland were always battling, and probably they pushed things a bit too far. Made too many errors, missed too many tackles. It was a brilliant...